fire broke out at the Rockley Thursday night. Smoke and flames were shooting out of the building, which was evacuated right before a wedding. What's up, bros? What's happening? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And more importantly, we're back at it with another gig vlog. Woo! We are out here at the Rockley Country Club. Super dope venue. Been here a couple times. And we are celebrating hard here at this American slash Filipino wedding. So you know it's going to be fire. I've done two of their friends' weddings who are also in the bridal party. And this is the third one of this same friends group. And all of those weddings were fire. This is the biggest, baddest one out of all of them. This is 200 guests at a super dope venue. I'm here with my man Will. He's uh, he's pulling up right there as you guys can see. Yeah. Yo. yeah. How are you, bro? Hello, man. Looks like nothing ever happened. Yeah. Oh, uh, Speaking of that side note, um, I don't know if you guys heard, but this venue recently experienced uh, a fire. When a fire broke out at the Rockley Thursday night, smoke and flames were shooting out of the building, which was evacuated right before a wedding. What was that? Last week, Last we, week. me and Will were like texting back and forth this week. We were like, we don't know if we're going to make it, but uh, apparently they got everything back and running within a couple days. Crews began working round the clock to make repairs, reconstructing, repainting, cleaning, and airing out the space. Most of the damage was in the boiler area and floor above. So that just goes to show you the testament of this venue. Like they, they must have pulled some massive strings to get back and running after the fire. The fire was pretty crazy. All right, so this is, uh, this is it. This is our room. So this is our ballroom. As you guys can see, it's looking very nice. What you think, bro? Nice, nice. This how, guys. This is a 360 photo booth they got for the longest we thought about getting one, but I don't know. It's just, I don't know. What you think? I, I just, I think they're kind of fatty, like. And what I mean by that is like, I mean like, I think they're gonna go out of style, but I was wondering why they didn't get photo booth with us. Now it makes sense. I'm not personally a fan of the 360. It's cool. But it's, it's, I feel like it's a little gimmicky. I don't know. Maybe in a couple of years I end up getting one. <laughs> that might be biting my tongue, but I don't know. As of now, I see them as kind of like a fad. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. It's already falling out. Nothing too crazy today. We have four towers. That's it. No ceremony, no cocktail. We're just here for a party. I like it. We're just here for a party, bro. <laughs> That's it. Oh, really? I ain't gonna work out either. I'm trying to lose weight because your boy was getting a little chunky. A little chunky. <laughs> That's how it is though. I, my weight fluctuates up and down a lot, up and down a it lot. It is what it is. All right, classic, classic DJ bar. Unloading, getting stuff inside, and then we're heading in for the setup. Ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> minutes exactly to get from the truck to inside so uh, let's get inside show you guys what's going on and we'll set this up all right here we go everything's inside like I mentioned not too much stuff four carts really and uh, we was getting set up right here we're gonna be right here centered mm -hmm. boom I'm gonna put you guys on a tripod and then we'll get set it up you guys have seen this a million times set up I'm ready to go this is what our setup looks like one of the biggest differences you guys may notice and a lot of you guys have been asking me is uh, the sub why did we stop using the SRX sub and switch to the Martin audio one uh, we actually always use this we just kind of used it for smaller events however we did have an issue with the SRX one it was kind of started to smell like it was burning like we had a check though and there was like nothing going on with it so I don't know we just kind of bailed on it after that incident they literally told me like if it was burning then like the speaker wouldn't work so I mean I guess that makes sense but um, that's essentially why we haven't been using the SRX um, 
828. It still works, I still have it, but uh, we've been using the Martin Audio one. It's just a little bit more compact and it actually is really good. It's a really great speaker. Once we started bringing it out to a couple of events, we kind of just fell in love with it and we just kind of been using it ever since. That's not to say that we're not gonna use the other one ever again, but for now, we're gonna be rocking with this one. SRXs are still here and alive. I mentioned before that I wanted to switch to, S, uh, to the RCFs, but um, I don't know, it's just not looking good. We went to the DJ Expo, we tried them out and it wasn't like a big difference, like a big jump, like wow, like we have to switch. So that's kind of why the SRXs are still kind of rocking and rolling. I figure I'll give them another maybe six months to a year before we actually switch to anything. We're pretty much almost done with uh, the wedding season this year, so it pretty much makes no sense to swap them out at this moment of time. Maybe in January, February, March, maybe we'll think about swapping them. But as of now, I think I'm going to hold on to them through at least January. They're not going to go anywhere until maybe next year. Over here, we have the focus spots. Again, last year I tried to get rid of these as well, but they just kind of do the job, so we kind of bailed on bailing on them. So, um, we're still rocking with the Focus Spot 3Zs. They are now all the way up to like the 6Z, so they're still rocking and rolling. We got the totems. This is the bigger one. We have the, I think this is a 3 meter totem, and these are 2.5 meter totem. So this one is a little bit taller if you notice, and I love how the dimensions look. I love the way it looks when you have the tall tower and the smaller ones outside. Um, it just makes the setup look very nice. We have, of course, the facade. Haven't bailed on that either. I know everybody's like, DJ Furniture, DJ Furniture but it's very practical it gets the job done focus spot cases as always we use them as tables could come in super handy so right here we got our table here got a six foot table here we got our light console which we still haven't made the video on it's been a full year of teasing it and it still hasn't come maybe this winter this winter <laughs> will's like when are we doing that video one day one day we'll do it uh, essentially, this controls our lights. Um, this APC40 MK2. It's actually an Ableton controller. Essentially, it's just a MIDI controller. MIDI meaning that you press a button and it tells the computer to do something. So, essentially, what we do is we use my DMX 3.0 and we mini map these buttons to trigger different scenes. So for example, here, number one, that's what you're seeing now. It's those polka dots on the ceiling. If I press two, you'll see that it goes to a spotlight. So you'll see here. They're at a spotlight. It's hard to see from behind, but if I press it back, back to polka dots, two, we get spotlight. So essentially, that is how they work. This device right here, this essentially is our wireless DMX. This is WDMX. Each one of these towers has a receiver inside that receives this signal that's coming from here. So essentially, we're coming out of the My DMX 3.0 box into here, creating wireless DMX. Um, right here on the bottom, we have our monitors. This is for when we have TVs. Uh, a lot of our weddings coming up do have TVs, so this is when these are used. This is essentially so that we know what we're showing on the TVs and there's no like mishap. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Costs about 500 bucks for this this is just a luxury that we have it it's pretty cool will uses it to watch the game during weddings mm -hmm. <laughs> um but essentially yeah this is our light console super awesome and over here we have uh you know decorated with pics and stuff of course we're still rocking with the ddj 1000 srt serato my favorite controller ever since quarantine we've been rocking with this bad boy and i've never looked back uh, this is my controller this is this is what i like to work on it's essentially the same thing as working with two cdjs and a djm 900 nexus it works exactly the same it's just in a smaller form factor especially if you're using serato this is the way to go love this bad boy over here we got our microphones qlxd we use two one is built into our system and then we have a loose one that we also use for ceremonies this is this loose one here it's again qlxd it's this one here over here we have our monitor this is the prx monitor 712 this speaker has been with me since i started this youtube channel you guys actually saw me go to guitar center and buy this speaker um i've been rocking with it since since then it, it has taken a bit of a beating and it does want to be retired it's like begging to be put out of its misery it keeps shutting off in between our gigs when we're cranking this thing it's just uh it's time to retire it. It served me well, and I actually bought it used, so it served somebody else well. So, yeah, it's definitely time to retire this guy. Um, I don't know when I'll be retiring it. Um, I've been trying to find another PRX 712, but I just haven't had any luck. But next time I see one pop up on Facebook Marketplace or on eBay or anything like that, I will be copying it. Um, hoping to get two. I think it'd be dope if I have two monitors and really blast out these guys because they complain about how loud I play. So uh, yeah, that should be fun. And uh, aside from that, that's it. UB bars over here on the bottom. And we got 5P hexes in here. So you see this? This is a 5P hex, American DJ. 
a DJ and then the UB bars these are 12 meaning there's 12 diodes these are six six diodes we are pretty much ready to go I'm gonna prep some music and uh, yeah we're ready to do this we took an hour and 30 to get everything done cleaned up and ready to go we're actually ready to go so uh, I'm gonna do some music prep and then I'll check in with you guys after we suit up Woo! all right all suited up ready to rock and roll I love my black suit Ooh, here come the men in black Shout out to everybody who follows me on Instagram. By the way, you should be following me on Instagram and on TikTok because I'm on that TikTok wave, that vertical wave now. So uh, yeah, be sure to be following me on those two uh, social media networks. I gotta show you guys the cocktail hour because the cocktail hour is absolutely insane. It's absolutely crazy. It's like next level stuff. My suitcase here, and I wanna show you guys cocktail. Check this out. stations and one over there got another station over there that's like a wine station wines and cheeses over here we got a meat carving station got a champagne station got a little fruit station got a cocktail station over there we got pasta mac and cheese an Asian station more station over there actually this is the Asian station that one I'm not sure what it is it looks like a vegetable station there's just like everything you can think of there's a station for, and over here that I mentioned, there is more stations, more stations. Well, as you can start to see, cocktail hours in Jersey are a pretty big freaking deal. All right, we're ready to go. Suited up, cocktail hour was fire, was banging. We just went over intro. I had a problem with my uh, event planner. Sometimes this happens to me. This is not the first time this happens to me, but sometimes everything disappears. Sometimes it happens because while I'm doing the final, the client is also going through it. So if I'm taking notes and they also have it open, it usually overrides anything I write down. So usually whoever closed it out last is who wins. I don't know what happened, but I lost all the info. Luckily, as I go along, I'm usually playing the songs back to them. The only thing that I don't play are like the bridal party entrance songs. So I had to text them yesterday. It was kind of embarrassing saying, hey, what's your bridal party entrance song? I had their first dance, usually their first dance, parent dances, and their introduction song. I usually always um, play it back to them. I'm like, is this the song that you want? Are you sure? Um, literally, I say that to them. And um, thank God that I did that because I was able to fill those in. Um, luckily, uh, bridal party intros was just one song for everybody, so they just had to send me one song. Cake cutting and all that other stuff, that would have been a problem if they were doing it. However, they're skipping everything. They just want party, party, party. party, party, party let's all get we're going to get started in how long? Three minutes. Three minutes we're going to get started. Are you ready? Are you ready, Will? Let's fucking go. Let's go. All right, friends and family, good evening, and welcome to the beautiful Rockley Country Club for our celebration this evening. Tonight, of course, in celebration of Noel and Samantha. Let me hear you make some noise, get loud for the rolling room. No, I can't hear you. I said somebody make some noise for the rolling room tonight. That's what I want to hear. Kick up. DJ, get the music for me. Get the music for me. Is everybody ready for the bride and groom? Let me hear ya! I said, is everybody ready for the bride and groom? Make some noise! Friends and family, I need you all to kindly rise. If you're able to, everybody, please stand up. Please stand up. And I need you to do me a favor. I need you to grab your napkin. And when your bride and groom make your way in, I need you to wave that napkin up high. I gotta hear you as loud as you can. I need you to scream. I need you to shout. I need you to make as much noise as you can. Friends and family, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure and honor tonight to introduce to you your brand new Mr. and Mrs. Cardona! Samantha and Noel are about 
to share their very first dance as husband and wife. Yes. And of course, these two have chosen an absolute classic to share together for their first dance. It's by Casey and Jojo, and it's entitled All My Life.
think so this wedding was actually back from September so we're still playing a little bit of catch-up before we get into the 2023 gig logs but this wedding was one of my favorite weddings that I did last year as you guys saw from the footage it was incredible and as mentioned in the vlog this was actually just a couple of days before this venue experienced a fire and that was actually quite a feat that they were able to pull because this fire was actually just five days before we went on so it was uh, it was incredible the wedding came together super 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 nice everything was awesome everything was great this was uh, an awesome 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 crowd these are like the crowds that you as a DJ dream of playing literally everything that we threw at them was working they were just an all-around awesome crowd and I knew going in that it was gonna be a great wedding because like I previously mentioned uh, I have DJ for their friends before so this was actually my third wedding of the friends group and that proves to be a little bit challenging because you do want to switch it up whenever you're DJing for the same people you don't want to give them the same thing every Every time but you also don't want to stray too far away from what actually worked and the reason that they booked you so that's honestly just what I did I did my thing and uh, everything worked out awesome bros thank you so much for watching this video if you want to support the channel you can check out the links in the description of this video there you'll find the links to all my equipment everything that I use additionally you'll find my DJ crates my DJ sound effects and my DJ planning form additionally as previously mentioned I am now on TikTok. so if you want to support me check out my TikTok. TikTok. I have been posting many mixes and many gig logs over on TikTok, so be sure to check those out. Lastly, I want to thank you bros for being so awesome and supporting me what I do here on this channel. I got so much love from you guys on my first gig log backs and honestly it just means a lot. I'm so happy that you guys haven't forgotten about me. I'm so happy that you guys missed the videos. You guys are just the best. Thank you. Before you leave, as always, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new around here, and don't forget to turn on that bell so that you can be notified next time we do another gig log. Another one's coming real soon, real soon, I promise you. Alright, bye.